Two years ago, the December edition of Seed World US magazine featured a CEO with a major innovation and an even bigger vision that the future of nitrogen could start right at the seed. Today, Nicholas Astrom's company, Arivo, is a front runner in shifting how we think about plant nutrition, sustainability, and the next generation of fertilizer technologies. As Arivo expands into new crops, soy last year, corn this year, turf and potatoes potentially coming soon, we caught up with Nicholas Astrom to talk about the future of fertilizer, what's misunderstood, what's coming fast, what it'll take to reshape a global industry. If you were giving advice to, to another company who is innovating in this space, now you've had, you've had some experience, uh, what would be your don't skip this part checklist for them? It's very simple. I would say data, data, data. Data, data, data. data. Okay. So, I mean, before you even go out to talk to the, your customers or customers to be, you meet, make sure that you have data and not just in your country. You need to be in several countries. I mean, we have done this in Europe. We are in South America. We are in North America. And done this now over four or five years. How do you see this product or more broadly um, the plant nutrition landscape evolving in Europe and globally? I think, personally, we think as a company, I mean, we have been very reliant on the Harbour and Bosch technology over the last 100 years, right. which actually helped us to have 50% more food on the table. But going 10 years from today, we need to see a shift. And I'm sure that the tradition why a fertilized product will be different in 10 years. And I mean, we are one of the companies that be driving this. But I personally think we will see a consolidation in this market. I mean, there's so many companies trying to do it, but we also see that some of them will survive, not all of them. And in five years, we will see a better consolidation, better companies, better quality. The good ones will survive. Makes, makes sense. So, and then the, the other hurdle, and maybe it's not a, such a hurdle, is convincing farmers to make a pretty significant change. Mm. How do you see that rolling out? I would say that the farmers, they're trying to find new things. The thing is that you don't want to risk your, your uh, season because you don't know if it works. So it's kind of reluctant. Are you credible? Can I actually use your product? Right. Goes back again to the data. If you can show the, the grower that actually we have tested this in your area, we have proven the data, we haven't seen them, uh, a problem. It's okay. the opposite. They are quite eager to test. Okay. So, so growers are keen. Yeah. Next steps go into additional crops. Nicholas, Thank you it much. is always a pleasure. Thank you.